Hey guys, just gonna make a Spider Queen video. Show you um, one way to fight it. Well, it's the way I've been fighting it. You know, there's a currently a bug going around with the Spider Queen that's, you know, just giving off ridiculous damage. But I don't um, bother with that crap. I just fight it regularly. Uh, the whole burning thing, I don't bother. I don't bother with that. I find that I just don't have enough burning troops. Troops that do the burning. Because apparently you need quite a few and you need to do a certain amount of damage. And the only real way to do that is with uh, Harbingers at, you know, high level. And I don't want to waste metals on that crap. So I go with the all ranged um, thing, I put Jin at the back. Um, I've got one Goblin Tech up here. His only job is to build cannons to hold Jin in place. That's his only job. The star here is these uh, Necromancers. I find six. I need 16 um, to get it to work with my formation which is all ranged. Okay, so the goal here is to create enough little skeletons so she'll always um, bomb the front, the skeletons, instead of your ranged. And you need to make sure that, you know, the number of skeletons outweighs the other groups. So I found that if you put too much ranged in a big clump here, so if these four... Or also say Taurus Witches, then she'd bomb this rather than the skeletons. Pelters are good because they they'll they'll fan out around her and they won't cause a group. But yeah, this is what I've been going with, and basically you run it. You can run it on two times speed if you want. But your goal is obviously just to not so the first two bombs always seem to hit the ranged, but they're, you know, her first bombs, so they don't actually do much damage. And what you want is you want Jin to get stuck on the cannons, and sometimes that will take a while. You might have to keep running it over and over again until you get him, get him stuck in the cannons. One time speed will help get him stuck more, but I just can't be bothered with that. So there you just, um, well you just don't have to do anything really, just watch and hope that the Spider Queen just keeps hitting the skeletons. And the Necromancers don't have to be level 10s or level 8s even, they can be level 4s and up, because a level 4 will produce... Eight skeletons, the same as a as a level ten. Well, a level three skeleton um, necromancer won't won't produce eight skeletons, so they're not as good. So you want four and up. And yeah, then you just watch and hope Jin doesn't sneak through. I also tried playing around with his active, um, only activating when when she's out of the cocoon. And you can do a little bit more damage that way, but I just can't be bothered with that. And yeah, I've, I've done this with my ult as well, because my ult's got quite a few... Uh, necromancers in it and it works with that obviously I don't have the Taurus witches on that but I can still get about 15 16 million on my alt with not much by way of uh, range troops yeah this is phase two so the damage is a lot less than phase one. Let's show you. So I've got four tens from I've saved them. I made those ages ago. 
the rest are eights so i've got a seven there but yeah 16 is what i found with all ranged and yeah taurus witches are the star that will do a lot more damage than than um frost archers will and yeah so yeah thanks for watching guys